Hydroponic Fertilization Guide Master Electrical Conductivity Levels for Thriving Plants Welcome to our Hydroponic Fertilization Guide. In this video, we'll explore how to optimize your plant growth using the power of nutrient management. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced grower, understanding the role of electrical conductivity, or EC, is essential for thriving hydroponic plants. Let's dive in. Electrical conductivity, or EC, measures how well water can conduct electricity. This ability increases with the concentration of dissolved minerals like the nutrients your plants rely on to grow. By monitoring EC, you ensure your plants get the perfect balance of nutrients at every stage. Using a digital EC meter is simple. Just dip it into your hydroponic solution and it will display the nutrient concentration. The first step is to measure the base EC of your clean or tap water. Then add the recommended EC values for your plants on top of this base. Regularly checking EC levels ensures your plants are always in an optimal environment for growth. Plants have different nutrient needs as they grow. During the vegetative stage, they thrive at an EC range of 1.2 to 1.6. In the flowering or fruiting stage, they require a higher concentration, with an EC range of 1.8 to 2.2. These values are averages for groups of plants with similar needs. Be sure to account for the base EC of your water when preparing the nutrient solution. If you're growing a group of plants together, it's important to choose plants with similar needs. Start by ensuring they match in season, sun exposure, and temperature requirements. But there's one more critical factor, growing stages. For example, herbs and leafy greens like lettuce and spinach stay in the vegetative stage, which is perfect for their growth. Fruiting plants like tomatoes, cucumbers, and eggplants require progression through flowering and fruiting stages. Grouping plants with the same growing stages ensures they thrive together under the same EC and pH conditions. If your EC reading is too high, dilute the solution with more water. If it's too low, simply add more nutrient solution. Balancing EC ensures your plants are neither overfed nor underfed, keeping them healthy and productive. Monitoring EC should become a routine part of your hydroponic care. To maintain a balanced nutrient solution, it's essential to fully replace the water in your reservoir at least once a month. Discard the old solution, refill with fresh, clean water, and add fertilizers above the base EC of your water. This practice helps avoid nutrient imbalances and keeps your plants growing strong. If you're growing only one type of plant, NatureTech provides a detailed plant encyclopedia with our hydroponic systems. This guide includes everything you need to know pH, EC, humidity, temperature, sun exposure, and specific growing tips. You can use this information to fine-tune your system and maximize growth. For group cultivation, ensure plants share similar needs for season, sun exposure, temperature, and growing stages. Then, provide the average EC and pH for the group to create a balanced environment for all plants. Incorrect EC levels can harm your plants. Over-fertilization may cause nutrient lockout, where plants can't absorb essential nutrients. Under-fertilization leads to stunted growth and deficiencies. Keep an eye on your plant's health to catch these issues early. To sum it up, maintaining optimal EC levels is the foundation of successful hydroponic growing. By understanding EC, choosing compatible plants, and adjusting nutrient levels as needed, you'll enjoy healthy, productive plants all year round. Are you ready to take your hydroponic gardening to the next level? Visit our website to explore NatureTech's hydroponic systems and see how they can help you grow fresh, nutritious food at home. At NatureTech, we combine nature and technology to bring you the best in hydroponic innovation.